projects, but still making sure that uh, Europe is not freezing uh, to death in the winter or just increasing uh, your imports by five times? No. Uh, Europe has managed uh, to, uh, to reduce its imports while doing it in a manner in which it is comfortable for Europe. No, comfortable? If that, uh, comfortable oh, it's may, manageable. May be a, comfortable no, it's manageable. may be a little bit of an uh, overstatement. It's manageable. Now, if at 60,000 euros or whatever is your per capita income, you are so caring about your population, I have a population at $2,000. I also need energy. I don't have... I'm not in a position to pay high prices. The price of oil has doubled. So, and what Europe is doing is also moving into the Middle East and diverting production out of the Middle East into Europe and raising prices. So European actions actually are putting pressure on the global oil markets and on my uh, imports as well. So uh, I think it's something which, if European political leadership, understandably, would like to soften the impact on their population, I think it's a privilege they should extend to other political leaderships as well. Mm. Uh, are you reluctant toward Moscow um, as well because Russia is India's most important supplier of weapons and military equipment? And therefore... Uh, are you reluctant to criticise Moscow? No, I think, look, we have a relationship with Moscow. We've had a long-term relationship with Moscow. I think it's important to look at that history of the relationship. It was a relationship built in a period when Western democracies used to arm a military dictatorship called Pakistan and deny India defensive weapons. So if we are talking about principles, let's talk a little bit of history out here. So how did the Indian uh, exposure to Russia get, and previously to Soviet Union get built up? Because the Western... Uh, democracies, for whatever reason, decided that their natural partner in our part of the world was a military dictatorship. Would you consider India an ally of Russia? No, I think India doesn't... We are an independent country. Uh, we do not uh, uh, define ourselves or perceive ourselves in alliance terms. That's very much a Western terminology. It's not something... It's not a term that we use. Mm -hmm.